Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Kirby Superstar Ultra playthrough. Last time we finished up Revenge of the King and now we're going to check out another new mode that was added to this game. Helper to Hero. Kirby's not the only hero. Helpers can be heroes too. We'll prove it in an all-star battle. Beat 13 foes is one of many helpers. Master each one. So Helper to Hero is basically like another arena. Although instead of Kirby you actually use the helpers of the game. You have 20 helpers to choose from and you can basically uh, test yourself uh, to beat basically this mode with every single helper if you want to. You don't have to, you only have to beat it once with one of the helpers, but uh, again it's a challenge you can do if you want and uh, if you want to go for it, definitely go for it. But yes, these are the 20 helpers you can choose. Uh, they even actually give you an extra one, Sword Knight, which is basically just another sword you can use. Uh, but yeah, basically all of the normal abilities in the game can be used here. So, in the first video, you may remember I asked you guys what your favorite power-up was, and I linked you to a straw poll that had all of the abilities. And most of you already figured it out, but yes, I was going to use that to determine which partners I would use. And yes, when I say partners, I mean partners, because... I'm actually going to be doing two playthroughs of this. I'm going to be doing one with the partner that got the most votes, and I'm going to be doing one with the partner that got the least amount of votes. So first, we'll start with the partner that got the most amount of votes, and this actually really, really surprised me, but um, Bonkers did not win. He actually got in second place, and he only got in second place by two votes. Uh, the actual winner of this was Samir, the mirror ability. Which, again, really, really surprised me because uh, I was not under the impression that Mirror was like a really well-liked ability in this game. It's not bad, it does quite a bit of damage, which is nice, but um, yeah, like again, I was really, really surprised. I think people like it just because uh, it's the one shield in the game that's completely impenetrable. Not counting the stone ability is just normal basic B move. But as far as like the L and R shield, it's again the one shield that cannot be broken. Which is pretty cool. Also, uh, you have a really good reflection ability where whenever you reflect a projectile, the reflection will actually do a lot of damage. So you can kind of use that to really destroy bosses. The only thing is, there aren't a lot of bosses in this mode that actually, like, have projectiles that can be reflected in that fashion. The plates from Chef Kawasaki work, but, like, the coconuts from Bonkers then, probably because they were, like, explosive projectiles or something. In fact, that's probably why. That and I just feel like Mirror doesn't really have like a lot of uh, potential. Like it doesn't have a lot of unique abilities. It has like this uh, kind of split up move, which is kind of cool. But like, I wouldn't say that's like a huge draw of the move or anything. Oh, come on. Then I just feel like the ability is like. Well, maybe not the ability, but just like using it. it makes you feel like you're just really, really frail. Which isn't great for a mode like this. I feel like if you're going to have low defenses, you want to be able to hit hard and fast and then get out of the way when they try to come at you. Which isn't exactly that easy to do with Mirror. Oh, come on, really? I'm taking so much damage, which is not good. Probably after this fight, I'm going to have to get some health. We'll see what happens, though. Uh, Dynablade does have a projectile attack that can be reflected pretty easily. It's when he opens his mouth. Or not, not right there, but these. Oh no, those can't be reflected. They just disappear whenever you hit them.
Oh, really? <sighs> Screw you! Okay, should I get healed here? I'm gonna risk it. I know it's not great to risk this, but I have a pretty good strat for this guy. And worst case scenario, I can stall it out if, uh... I can stall it out if I just uh, do this the whole time. See, I stalled it out pretty well. Yay! Okay, definitely gonna use health right here. Especially because Camellio arms such an awkward fight as it is. I think I got him though. Also I should mention that uh, as far as the enemy order, obviously not all the bosses are included. It's only 13 and I think Arena had like 18 or something. So yeah, they don't use all the bosses and even then like all the bosses you do fight, you fight them in a, the same order every single time. We should be good. This guy actually has projectile attacks he can reflect to. Really? Let's go away. Okay, what's next? Twin Woods? Yeah. <clears throat> I probably could have used a normal tomato here, but... Yeah, this boss isn't too bad. I think one thing you want to do is you want to do that like little swipe attack. I think the swipe attack will do more damage than like just the normal like mirror blades or whatever those things are. I think I can survive this. Yeah, I can definitely survive this as long as I don't play stupid. Because again, the mirror, your shield, is impenetrable by anything, so... Again, just don't do anything you're stupid and you'll be fine. 
Ooh, 78 damage. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I only did 58 damage that time. Now it's 18 because he was defending, so. Yeah, that's what sucks, is that you can't reflect those projectiles, which do a lot of damage against these guys. But yeah, like, they only use attacks when they can't be hurt, so... Definitely got this, though. And there we go. So next, we have our good friend Meta Knight. And yes, we won't have to use the sword. We can use our own abilities here. From what I remember, Meta Knight actually gets kind of slipped up when you're fighting mirrors, so that's kind of cool. See, that was actually pretty easy for the most part. But now we have our last opponent, which... Isn't that just Wham Bam Rock? Why does he have question marks underneath him, though? I mean, we've definitely fought this boss a number of times. There's literally nothing special about him. Damn it! Ugh. I'm trying to get too fancy with this, I feel like. And there we go. Oh, wait a minute. It's not over yet. Say hello to Wham Bam Jewel. The secondary form of Wham Bam Rock in this game. When I first saw this guy, I, I, I got really, really pumped. I thought it was cool that they gave this guy a second form. I wouldn't say he's like really that iconic of a boss, but I mean he was the main boss of Great Cave Offensive, so... Of all the bosses, I guess it kind of makes sense, I guess, because of just how controversial Great Cave Offensive is, but like, still... Just interesting how they choose this guy to be like the main baddie of that. Okay. Oh shoot. Crap. Got him! Oh, thank God. I'm gonna be honest, that was actually the third time of me recording that because I kept dying. 
with mirror because again mirror is not one of my uh, go-to abilities so that was actually a lot harder for me than I thought it would be but yeah there we go I have beaten helper to hero with Samir but like I said that's not the only helper to hero I'm gonna be doing I'm also gonna be doing the helper that got the least amount of votes and I'm actually not surprised by this it wouldn't be my pick for worst ability I'd probably either give that to Jet or um, Ice. Probably more so to Ice, because Jet definitely has some moves you can uh, take advantage of for sure. Uh, but the person that got the least amount of votes was actually Burdon, the wing ability. So yes, we're going to be using wing for the second mode of this. I, I might do a thing where if I don't complete this... I'm probably just going to move on with the game and not worry about beating this, but I will give it a try at least. I mean, it's not like any of you guys voted for this or anything. I think this only got one vote. Which is a shame, because again, I don't think it's the worst ability, like, at all. I wouldn't say it's, like, a go-to, like, everyone's favorite ability either, but, like... Definitely wouldn't call it the worst. There are also, there are definitely some options what you can do with wing though. You have that suplex like move, the shuttle loop, I think is what it's called. You have this charge up move you can do. I think it even has oh yeah, it has that. I think that shockwave actually does decent damage too. But yeah, nobody voted for Wing. I'm trying to think of what the other ability was. There was another ability that also got pretty close to being last. That only got like two or three votes. I want to say it was Stone, but like. That also surprises me because I feel like Stone is the ability that people use to beat this game a lot because of uh, just the fact you can't take damage with it whenever you use the uh, just normal B move. Okay, that. Down, that downward ability didn't really work too well against Krako, but he's also a flying enemy, so I didn't think that would. That was pretty quick and easy, though. <laughs> <coughs> quick and painless. Maybe not for DDD, but for me. Uh, let me go ahead and use a uh, health right here. Hope I don't live to regret that. Well, that actually did a lot of damage. The only problem is I also took damage by doing that, so... Nice. You go bird on. Yeah, like, li literally, like, I wouldn't say, like, again, br uh, Wing is not my favorite, like, not even close to being my favorite, but, like, I don't think it's that bad. It's weak, but, th like, you have options, like I said. Okay, I can't do that, really. I mean, that's also pretty much just helper to hero in a nutshell. You just need to figure out the best way to use all the different abilities, and you're pretty good to go after that. Heck, I feel like I'm finishing this faster than... I could do with most of the power-ups anyway. Come on. 
really? I hate Camellio Arm. Okay, probably gonna use another healing item right here. I'll actually even just use the weaker one just in case. Because I don't think we have like two hard opponents coming up. Because we have Twin Woods coming up. Twin Woods just always being a kind of an easy one. Really? I hate that I took damage right there. Should be good here. Wrecked! <laughs> if I could have stayed in the middle, I would have, like, killed them both at the same time. Uh, yeah, I'll use this. Nice! Wow, that was really quick work. May not to, may not need to use much help for Meta Knight at this rate. Okay, I take 30 damage. That's not super great here. Okay, that definitely will do more damage. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, that's gonna definitely gonna be the best ability to use. Seventy-eight damage. Okay, that's about what I was doing with uh, Samir as well. Dude, can you stop doing that? If I get close to him, I might be able to do more damage to him at once. Ah, but I also risk taking damage too, so that might not be the best strategy. Oh, come on! That should have worked. And suck it. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> Gotta admit, this one's actually been more fun than the other one. Again, I'm just not really a big fan of mirrors, so... Just wasn't a lot of enjoyment I could have had with that. Damn, burn on. I have definitely been missing out on using this guy. <laughs> or girl. I guess Burdon could be a girl. 
game's not exactly super clear about what Burdon's gender is. Okay, gotta be a little careful though. Damn it. I don't like being at half health for Wham Bam Jewel. Especially because Wham Bam Jewel is the harder vari variant and the one that you're probably not used to fighting. Oh, come on. Damn it! Oh, thank God. I was getting, like, really, really scared right there. Thankfully, I did it, and I got a new record, too. And, yeah, it saves your, uh, basically, your top two times on here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it for Helper to Hero. Probably going to be a longer video, but that's okay. Got to show off two helpers. And uh, I think one thing I'll do after this project is over, uh, maybe in the future I'll hold some, like, streams or something where I maybe play through the rest of these. But as far as like this normal project is concerned, I'm just going to do those two because it was the winner and loser of the character poll. So yeah, I think that's going to be uh, how I'll handle this from uh, now on. So yeah, I might do some streams in the future. And then at the very end, once I do those streams, I'll try to attach them to the end of this playlist so you can you know watch the rest of them in the future for all my future viewers. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for Helper to Hero. We have only one mode left. Or at least one mode that we know about. Yeah, I see those two extra stars that still need to be completed. Uh, so yeah, next time we're going to be taking a look at Meta Nightmare Ultra. So this has been Slim Kirby. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys next time. Later, folks.